Well, thank you, Grant Turner, and welcome, everybody, to another Saturday night at the Grand Ole Opry, featuring a super lineup of stars that you're about to meet. But first, we offer a tribute to a dearly loved member of the Grand Ole Opry family who passed away earlier this week. Del Wood died at Baptist Hospital in Nashville after suffering a stroke at the age of 69. Del was well known for her energetic ragtime piano playing on records and live performances throughout the world. Here's a brief look at the career of Grand Ole Opry star Del Wood. The Opry's piano queen was born on February 22, 1920, in Nashville. She was playing piano by the age of five, and her first professional job was at a five and dime performing sheet music for customers. Folks, here's Del Wood. Before joining the Grand Ole Opry in 1953, Del played with a band called the Dixie Liners, and she thrilled audiences everywhere with her bouncy barrel house piano style. 36 years ago, she tickled the ivories on an old song that earned her a gold record, along with the distinction of playing on one of the biggest instrumental records of all times, the ever-popular Down Yonder. A few weeks ago, Dell made one of her last TV appearances here on our backstage show. In an interview with Janet Tyson, she reflected on her long and rewarding career in show business. Uh, I've loved every minute of it. It enabled me to be a full-time mama and take Wesley with me when he was small and uh, still make a very, very good living. But the fun, you, couldn't, you can't describe the fun it's been because the, the real people and I don't like phonies, and I don't think there's any phonies in our business. Off stage, she was well known as a kind, compassionate person who worked unselfishly for numerous community causes. Del Wood was a natural talent and a genuinely nice person. Now and forever, the Grand Ole Opry's Queen of the Ivory. Del was well known backstage at the Opry for her storytelling and serving as a self-proclaimed mother hen for all the newer performers. She'll be greatly missed by all of us.